Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into another cybersecurity video. This was requested by a university, so I figured why not. And we're going to get into the difference between surface web, dark net, and also the deep web. Now one thing to note is some of these things have different names, you know, it's like a lawyer and attorney, it means the same thing. But the big thing to note is there's a lot of fear marketing going around this stuff. And a great example of that is, well... Cyber criminals around the world are scouring the dark web, looking to steal your credit cards and social security numbers. But now, there's Experian. We monitor the dark web globally, with alerts to help protect you from identity theft. Killer internet, and then there's something called the dark net. An underground system of anonymous websites that are untraceable. And that is fear margarine as fear margarine can get. Big thing to notice is um, you're probably going to see most of it on some newscast or whatever. And the big thing that you need to keep in back of your mind is all they are is reading something off a teleprompter. And the fact is, is with good CGI and a text speech program, you can just replace the entire crew. And that will happen because in many cases, those people are getting paid 100000 to several million dollars and that's a lot of money that could be saved and go into someone else's pocket so yeah uh now as far as this goes um, and by the way make sure your career decisions are wise because of that so as far as that goes you will run across things like this the uh, posters like this um, and there is some truth into it so as far as the surface web surface web is as it shows basically google bang gahoo whatever if you can search on the internet, so the, uh, on a public indexing site, Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever, then uh, basically it is the surface web. And the big thing to note is if it's possible that it can be searched, then it is the surface web. And what I mean by this is how Google and the others work is they, they basically go through the internet and they try to find any new website, any new thing. And the reason for this is basically if half the sites don't show up on a given index, which actually was a problem back in the day, what well, the fact is is people will go to another platform altogether. So your site might not show up today, but tomorrow it's probably going to show up, or at least in a few hours it might show up but it will still be technically the surface web because it, it's going to be searchable or it is searchable. So this is a big thing to note. Now, as far as deep web, it is anything that is not searchable. It won't be able to be searched. So, for example, um, stuff like your emails, driving records, health records, banks, uh, bank records, and stuff like that, you don't want people to be able to just type in your name and just see all your emails. That ain't going to happen. So these things are not going to be publicly searchable. You have to be able to log in and then you can probably search into it. And that's the only way. So all of that will be in the deep web side of things. Basically, anything that requires a login, normally anything past that would have a deep web factor, unless it's like a form or something like Facebook. Um, and then anything that, again, requests for it to not be searchable, these are uh, considered as deep web because they're, they're not searchable and they won't be searchable. So as far as that goes, that leads us to the dark web. Problem with this chart is this portion. Basically, I can get hackers without a dark web. I can get illegal porn without the dark web. So as far as that goes, um, the most popular things to get onto the dark web with, and, and by the way, a dark web is just simply a section of the internet that requires a special tool or browser. In this case, uh, Tor is the most popular public browser. Uh, militaries probably have their own little thing, and a few others probably have their own little thing. But as far as the public, Tor is the most popular. You also got things like I2P, so big thing to note. But basically, it requires a tool to get onto these sections. Now, as far as... Um, this goes 
the uh, even the dark web has its own indexing, and this is not considered as public indexing because you are required to have again those tools, which makes it not really public, even though it kind of is. So therefore, it's uh, still within the deep web. Now, as far as that goes, um, this is a good example. Basically, this is the website to get to this index. Well, if I go to the website without Tor, well, I'm going to get a kickback saying, hey, I can't find this. The reason for this is because it requires a special tool to get onto the website. It's a big thing to note because the fact of the matter is, is um, I can guarantee you that uh, the military has their own special website because where Tor came from was the Navy. A uh, big thing to note, though, is a lot of the dark web, and, and the reason why Tor was popular is the fact of the matter is, is a lot of the dark web isn't the illegal porn and the hackers. Yes, there is quite a bit of that. There is uh, assassination sites, or at least there was at some point. There is a little bit of this, or is a little bit of that. But the uh, reason why a lot of people went on the dark web, believe it or not, is because a lot of the world, if you say the wrong thing, your government will bag you and your family will never see you again. You might not even die. You will be tortured or thrown in a cell just for saying the wrong thing or because the government thought you said the wrong thing. This happens quite a bit. I mean, look at... Um, person over Middle East, the, uh, what's her name, um, uh, in Syria, um, the, the uh, woman that's with the guy, they call her the Rose of Death because she regularly encourages the chemical attacks on their own people and all that stuff. We're not talking about the UK or the United States where this crap won't fly and it really won't be possible with the current system. We're talking about places that literally does chemical tests on their own people and seeing, okay, does this chemical kill off all the kids quick enough or not? So this is where the dark net comes in play. Is basically it gives those people, the kids, the adults, and whatever, an ability to talk between each other, maybe in a way to take over the government, maybe in a way to rebel, Maybe in a way to just share how it's the best way to share uh, muffin recipes. But in the end of the day, it gives these people a voice. This is a major section of the dark web. This is pretty much what it is. Very, There is previous sections of it that is the illegal crap. But a lot of it is the uh, is needed because of, of that stuff. Basically, it, it allows the people to talk and whatever. Uh, what what like Russia has their own dark web because it's illegal to be gay there. It, there's a few other places like in China, sections of it you will get harm if you really show much religion that in in any church or whatever has to have a police person in there. Well, if you go here where I'm at in, in North Carolina, in the Bible Belt area, the fact is, is you can't get these people shut up. So if they got people like that over there, they got problems. And they got to have some place of vent, even though it might not be toppling the government or doing something stupid. You know, it's a way for the people to talk to each other. That is a huge section of the dark web. It's just simply allowing people to talk allowing people to hide from the government, um, hide what they have to say, hide their opinions and whatever, to keep them from being collected and, and killed or put in jail or whatever the case might be. This is a major thing to note. So whenever you hear a company saying that, oh, we search the dark web for this, this, and this, and this, think of it as, oh, pretty much the normal internet, you know, just a little bit... Uh, iffy because some web a lot of websites a lot a lot of websites don't work um that they, they they're halfway coded or or whatever it may be but other than that 
the fact is, is it's mostly the regular web. It's very difficult to even find dark web pages. So it's impossible for many of these places to do what they're claiming to do. In many cases, okay, so they went on to a LGB form in Russia. How is that going to help with identity theft? But anyways, as far as that goes, um, hopefully that's answered some questions in alighting some people on how the real world is. And by the way, and this is some of the stuff that you're going to run into if, uh, if you're watching this in school or whatever. The fact is, is you're going to have to run into stuff like this on a regular basis that a lot of the world wants to stick their head in the sand. And, and if you're not comfortable with that, I advise you to try to go for a narrow career because that's just how things are especially in security. So as far as that goes, uh, if you uh, like this, whatever, then you know what to do. But if you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comment section or feel free to email me. And I hope you have a great day.